Hi everyone, it's Jess from Meyer Hatchery and welcome to an episode of Meyer Makes, our do-it-yourself series here on YouTube. There's a cold wind blowing here in Ohio and that means two things. Number one, it's pumpkin everything season and number two, it's time for fall molt. So what is fall molt? Fall molt is mother nature's way of getting your chickens ready for winter. You're gonna notice a lot of feathers in your coop and you might notice some bare spots on your chicken, but don't worry, it's okay. You can offer your chicken some additional proteins such as some plain yogurt, mealworms, scrambled eggs, and more. Marie wrote a great blog all about the fall malt and I'm gonna leave it in the comments below. So being the crafty person that I am, I thought there's gotta be a way to use up all these feathers that are around. So what I did is I gathered all of those feathers and I actually washed them. I put them in a bowl with some warm water and one drop of Dawn dish detergent. I mixed the feathers around, kind of rinsed them off in a separate bowl and set them out to dry. So the feathers that we are working with today are actually feathers that I've cleaned, kind of fluffed them back up, given them a little shake and they're all ready for creating. So let's go over to our workspace here and let's put our fall molt feather wreath together. All right, so I've laid out all of our pieces here to put together our fall molt feather wreath. And you actually don't need a lot of supplies at all. Um, you need a grapevine wreath that looks similar to this one here. And I'm using an eight inch wreath. You can use whatever size you'd like to use. I've gathered some feathers here, and I've actually been collecting feathers for the last couple years. So I actually have a mix of chicken, pheasant, and turkey feathers in my pile here. You also need some scissors in case you have to trim any of your feathers. If you notice that when you're working with your feathers, they're not sticking into the wreath like you want them to, you can use a little bit of clear tacky glue. That helps really well. You're also going to need a small piece of wire, and this might be a little bit harder to see, but just a small piece of floral wire here to make a hanger on your wreath. And you also need some sort of decoration. And you don't have to use this. If you don't wanna put a bow on there, you don't have to. Here's a bow that I've already pre-made, and I've added some wire on the back of it so I can attach it to my wreath. So let's go ahead and start putting our wreath together. So we're going to start by taking our wreath and adding our hanger on the top here. My hanger. And we're going to add our bow at the bottom right here. Alright, so there's my hanger and there's my bow and let's go ahead and start adding those feathers on there. <laughs> 